Now that we've done our in-meeting or our pre-meeting experience here, let's now implement our in-meeting experience. So meeting apps with, for Teams can implement the side panel experience for some rich user interaction. And the side panel is gonna occupy the same space where the meeting participant uh, is in the, uh, the participant list is displayed and the chat is displayed. So you can use this area to provide a user specific experience during the meeting that's specifically related to your app. So now let's update the meeting app to display a different experience during the in meeting uh, with the side panel. So what I'm gonna do is go back to our tab that we have here and before we update the meeting experience, I want to add some additional code to our existing uh, right before or right after our uh, toggling the t stop the um, stand up topic status. So that is right here. So let's go ahead and add uh, this code in. Now, what this code is going to do is it's going to toggle the status of the topic to indicate if it's been presented or not. We're going to use that during our our end meeting experience. Now, the next thing we'll do is we're going to add in a utility uh, function to create our end meeting experience. So we've already got this pre meeting experience set up. So let's go down. We don't need to we don't need to use this one right now. Let's go ahead and let's add a new one here. All right. So what is this code going to do? This code is going to like a look at all the topics. And what it's going to do is I only want to show the topics that have been approved to the current user if they're an attendee. But if they're an administrator or the organizer of the meeting, then I want them to see all of the topics. So in this case here, if they're the organizer, then give them all of the approved topics. Otherwise, only give them the approved topics that they were the specified presenter of. And then I'm simply gonna sort those topics out. Now we're gonna implement the user experience. So I'm gonna do that by just pasting in some code. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a list of cards. Um, and each one of those cards is just going to display um, the, um, the, the different topics. Um, it's also going to have a control on it um, to uh, toggle control to indicate if the meeting topic has been presented uh, or not. So the last thing that we're going to end up doing here is I need to go through and implement our user experience for the side panel. So what I'm gonna do is go a little bit farther down and right here in our context or in our frame context, we're gonna check to see if we are currently in a in the side panel experience. And if we are, we wanna display our side panel experience. So I'll go ahead and save that change. And because I didn't restart my web server, uh, or the ingrox serve, it's going through and rebuilding our project. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish before we go back and take a look at our meeting. All right, now that our app is running, let's go back over here to our app into the let's go back into the meeting. And this time we're going to join the meeting. Now the reason we're going to join the meeting is because we have to we have to um, uh, be able to join the meeting and be in an active meeting in order to be able to see our meeting app. So here's our app that's been installed showing right up here in this tool, in the toolbar. And when I select this, we can see our tab is gonna go ahead and load. And here we can see we've got a, all of our different um, topics that have been approved. You've got the Alex uh, Wilbur tab, uh, the, the, the um, uh, feature Charlie review by Alex Wilbur. You've got another one from Megan and another one from Megan uh, as well. One of the things I can also do is I can come over here and I can select one of these different uh, toggles and this will um, show that all of these different topics have been presented. Or let's go ahead and let's just toggle a couple of them on and off. So now what you can see is we've now created our uh, a conditional experience in our pre-meeting experience that the meeting organizer can see with some additional controls to approve some of these topics. And then we also have our stand-up agenda um, is showing in the side panel uh, as a different tab um, as well. We can still see, even once we leave our meeting as well, uh, I can still see that the, um, the pre-meeting experience is still there, right? We haven't changed that. We'll see how to do that in a new demo.